Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you a quick demo followed by how to install Open Interpreter on your Windows computer. What is Open Interpreter? Open Interpreter is a Swiss army knife of AI tools and it can perform a multitude of tasks. Open Interpreter is a glimpse at the future of how we will interact with our computers. In a nutshell, Open Interpreter can control your operating system, be it Windows or Linux. It can interact with your files, manipulate and analyze data sets, produce code and applications, and best of all, it runs locally on your PC. Before we build and install this on Windows, let me quickly show you a demo of Open Interpreter in action. So first, let's submit the prompt and ask Open Interpreter to check what files is found on this computer's desktop. Let's go ahead, execute this command, and we can see um, it's trying to submit a command for Linux. It will figure out that it's running on Windows. Then bring up the correct Windows command. Let's execute that. And as you can see, here we find the test open interpreter.txt file on my desktop. That is correct. Now let's execute the following prompt and I'm going to ask open interpreter to check what is contained in this file. Let's go ahead, execute this command. And as you can see, it's verbatim reading back the text that it's found in this document. Reading the file back verbatim is not good enough. Let's submit the following prompt and ask Open Interpreter to tell us what this file is about. Let's go ahead, submit this prompt. And here you can see it's analyzed the file properly. It knows it points to a channel called Stuff About Stuff that contains Windows build instructions for Open Interpreter. And to showcase Open Interpreter's coding capabilities, I'm going to submit the following prompt and ask it to convert this text file to a web page for me. Let's go ahead, submit this prompt. Let's figure out the structure and the process. And here you can see it's open up the web page it's just created. Now lastly, let's step it up a bit and get Open Interpreter to work with a data set. I'm going to submit the following prompt. Create an Excel sheet on my desktop. Call the sheet companies. Create two columns and two rows. Column 1 heading is company name. Column 2 heading should be revenue. Create company A on row 1 with a price of 100,000. Create company B on row 2 with a price 40% more than company A. Let's submit this prompt. First, it will confirm the process it needs to follow to create the Excel spreadsheet. Then it will figure out what libraries it needs to create the spreadsheet. And then finally, it will go ahead and build the required spreadsheet for us. Let's go ahead and open this Excel file. And here you can see it's created the two companies and it successfully populated the revenue for both of them as requested. Now let's get right into building Open Interpreter on Windows. Let's download the required software. Head over to the Python website, download the latest version for Windows. Next, let's get over to Anaconda and download the latest installer for Windows. And lastly, we want a copy of Visual Studio Community Edition. Go ahead and grab a copy. First, let's install Python. And when the installer launches, make sure you select this checkbox to add Python to your path. Next, you can install Anaconda and you can accept all the defaults. Install Visual Studio Community Edition. And when the installer launches, make sure you select these two checkboxes. Desktop development with C++ and the universal Windows platform development. And now with all the required packages installed, go ahead and reboot the Windows machine. Let's install Open Interpreter. In your Windows search bar, type Anaconda, right click and run this in admin mode. Now let's change directory into the root of our drive. I'm going to execute cd backslash. Create a project folder for Open Interpreter. I'm going to create a folder called OI. Uh, execute the make dir command and create your project folder. And change directory into the folder that you just created. 
execute the command python space dash dash version and confirm the version of python anaconda is using i will now create a separate conda environment for open interpreter to run in let's execute the following command conda space create space dash n space oi space python equals and insert your python version go ahead execute this command Let's activate the newly created environment. Execute conda space activate space oi. And if your environment activates successfully, you'll see it in the left hand corner. Now let's visit the project GitHub page. And you can see that Open Interpreter can be installed by running pip space install space open dash interpreter. Let's go ahead, copy this install command. Paste the install command in your Anaconda prompt. Ensure you are in the correct folders and the correct environment and execute the install command. Ensure that your program installed successfully and then you can launch Open Interpreter by just executing the command interpreter in your Anaconda prompt. Go ahead and execute that. I'm going to run Open Interpreter against GPT-4. You will need to create an OpenAI API key. Then copy this key, right click it into your Anaconda prompt and press enter. And you should now be ready to supply Open Interpreter with your first prompt. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found value in it, consider giving us a thumbs up or subscribing and keep an eye on our channel for future AI videos.